Hey gang, welcome back to Inverted Pursuits Laboratory. This week we're actually going to be taking a look at cameras. So I made a video previously on the Estes Astrocam, this little almost thumb drive looking camera. So we're going to actually look into what other cameras exist out there on the market that a lot of us hobbyists use. So obviously getting started, we have the Estes Astrocam. It is the smallest form factor of all the cameras we have on the market and is honestly the simplest. It's got a single push button on the front and an SD card slot in the side and that's it. And then out the bottom comes your camera lens. Aside from that, we have probably the most popular. We have the Mobius Mini and it's sibling, the Mobius Maxi. Unfortunately, I don't actually own one of these. All I have is just a picture of it, but that's what the Mobius Maxi looks like. So both the Mobius Mini and the Mobius Maxi are very high quality. Um, in comparison to the Astrocam though, they are considerably larger. But they're actually about the average size for most things that we fly. Both the uh, Maxi and the Mini are about the same uh, size in function. The Maxi has a little bit larger uh, camera aperture. Next in our lineup, we have the Runcam 2 4K. There are uh, more than one version of the Runcam 2. There's a 4K and there's a 1080p version. I like the 4K the best. Um, form and function wise, they are identical, um, aside from the quality. But the Runcam is a nice bright orange. It's actually probably one of my favorite features about it is that it comes in this very bright orange color. So it's very easy to find if it were to come off your rocket, although hopefully that won't happen. Um, it has simple two buttons on the front, one to connect to Wi-Fi and one for turning it on and off and starting all your recording. And then very similar to actually the Maxi, this is what the Runcam 4K was designed to compete with is the Maxi and it has almost the exact same form as the Maxi. And as you can tell in comparison to the Mobius Mini, they're almost the exact same size. Then we have one that I actually very recently found. This is called the Foxier Legend 2. So Foxier made actually three versions of this camera. There's the Legend, the Legend 2, and the Legend 3. Legend 3 is by far the most overpowered version of it. It has a full touchscreen interface and like LCD stuff. Um, the Foxier 2, or Foxier Legend 2, was obviously designed to compete with the Maxi Run Cam and the uh, Mini. So it's on the exact same scale as all the rest. If we go ahead and grab all those, you can see that basically the scale is pretty much identical between the three cameras. And uh, it's honestly the newest one I recently found and uh, actually found it in some old family member stuff as we were digging through it and just found it very cool. Uh, unfortunately, the Legend 2 is currently uh, out of production. So if you find one, you're gonna be finding it uh, secondhand but they are a very nice, very high quality uh, camera. So let's go ahead and run through the specifications for all of these cameras. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the Foxier Legend 2. The Legend 2 has 4K 24 frames per second. It is Wi-Fi supported, so there's an app that will work with it. I do not actually know if that app is still operational. Um, that's the one thing I have not fully checked out. Uh, it records everything in MP4. It uses a micro USB on the back to charge, weighs 45 grams, has a 90 minute runtime, and has an SD card slot here on the side. Again, I will mention the Foxier Legend 2 is a retired product, and if you find it, you will be finding it second hand. Next, we have the Mobius Mini. The Mobius Mini is a 1080p 30 frames per second camera. It, is, it has no Wi-Fi support, saves all of its files in MP4, charges via USB Mini on the back, the same spot as the SD card location, weighs 30 grams and has an average runtime between 100 to 140 minutes. I would bet that's based on um, what setting you have it in. You also have the ability to change the 1080p down to 720. Um, 
The Mini can also be picked up in a variety of locations. You can find it on Amazon as well as on the Mobius website. The Mobius Maxi is a 4K 30 frames per second camera. It has built-in Wi-Fi and can save files in either MP4 or MOV. The built-in Wi-Fi allows for you to connect the Mobius app to it and be able to view what your camera is actually being able to see. It charges via USB Type-C and like all these other cameras, takes a micro SD card um, on the back. It weighs 50 grams and has a runtime of 110 minutes. Again, you can find this often on Amazon or on the uh, Mobius webpage. Next, we have the Runcam 2 4K. This records in 4K 30 frames per second, is Wi-Fi supported and works with the Runcam app. It saves files in MP4 and charges via, on the back there's a little port here, charges via micro USB on the back where also you will find the uh, SD card slot. It also has some format of removable battery I have yet to mess with. The camera weighs 49 grams and has a runtime of 90 minutes. Finally, we have the Estes Astrocam. The Astrocam is 1080p, 30 frames per second, does not support Wi-Fi, saves all the files in .avi, charges via USB 2.0. Um, it's also a good way to transfer files on and off your SD card that mounts in the side here. Um, it weighs eight grams and has a runtime of 40 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and throw up all of the specs for these various cameras on a screen right now. So as you can see, there are several camera options available to our rocketry community. There are other options that a lot of people often use, including spy cams built by various companies. Uh, some are key fob shaped, some are the same USB stick shape as the Estes Astro Cam. You can buy any of them and they will work great. I've seen footage from all and they often turn out looking wonderful. These are just the common ones that I have seen used within the Rocketry community. And we're gonna go ahead and run footage from each of the cameras that I have flight footage from. The only ones I do not have flight footage from are the Run Cam and the uh, Legend 2. I'll be instead using footage uh, generically shot in my backyard. All right, now that we've taken a look at all the specifications, we're gonna discuss some of the different ways you can actually mount these cameras. These cameras are incredibly expensive and very, very easy to lose. And losing them is really not what we are wanting to do. Um, we're always trying to recover every piece of hardware we can. As such, different companies, including Additive Aerospace and myself, have developed camera shroud systems to help uh, better protect your cameras. You can buy simple camera covers from companies like Apogee that are just meant to go over your camera on there as an aero cover, but don't actually protect your camera from falling off your rocket. 
The type of camera shrouds that I carry are 3D printed and designed to screw to your rocket with three screws and have a molded section to match the curve of your rocket body. This one is designed for the Mobius Mini and you will find it just slides right in, leaves you quick accessibility to all the buttons and various lights you may ever want to see. And then the lid attaches with one screw on the front and it's held in there ridiculously tight. There's no wiggle, no wobble, nothing. This is not coming out unless you break mock and melt it off the side of your rocket. And it comes back out by simply pushing on it. This kind of mount uh, also exists for the Maxi. A little bit different look, but same base function. We also have cam mounts for the run cam. Run cam is a little bit tighter fit and also a little bit larger mount than either the Mobius or the Maxi. So the run cam simply slots in there, leaves you access to all of your relevant buttons on the outside as well as lights that turn on and off. And with one screw, covers over the top. Same as all my other camera shrouds, mounts via three screws to the back and has a molded shape to match the profile of your rocket. And it comes back out just by pushing gently on the shroud around your camera lens. Finally, we have the Estes Astrocam. Um, as far as I know, I am the only provider of camera shrouds for the Estes Astrocam. There's actually a screw in here. That's annoying. The Estes Astrocam fits inside this very unique shroud by actually removing the cover from your camera, placing it into your cap and then sliding the whole thing inside. You're left access to the button to turn it on and off as well as visibility of a light that's right here at the top of the Estes Astrocam to tell when it is on versus recording. It's the difference between a solid and a blinking light. Uh, there are also holes down here for screw mounting um, this. When you go to take it apart, the Estes Astrocam itself will stay, no, oh, actually didn't on this one. Sometimes it will stay in the housing itself and to get it out, you simply use the opening on the front to just gently massage the camera out until you can get a hold of it and finish extracting it. Currently, there is not a camera mount that I've ever found for the Legend 2 from Foxier. Um, I have yet to produce one, and I don't know if anyone ever will produce one for it since it is a retired product. Um, if you feel that it would be beneficial to have one or know enough people that actually run the Foxier Legend 2, please comment below and I will consider adding it to my lineup of camera shrouds. It is my opinion that camera shrouds are the best way to ensure you recover these cameras with your rocket and don't find them in a field or they're just lost in a field forever. I have personally lost an Astro Cam in a field and it is a bad time because you will never find that tiny little guy in a field. Thanks for watching, gang. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Please consider liking and subscribing. I'll see you all in the next video. Something you may or may not already know about is that Invertipsies Lab has a web store where we sell 3D printed rocket kits and components. From simple park flyer to our pasture flyer line, we have rocket kits for all ages and experience levels. You'll also find parts like camera shrouds, screw switch covers, and charge wells. Printed from durable PETG, these products can withstand temps up to 185 degrees Fahrenheit and will not melt even on the hottest days of flying. Our goal is to provide you the highest quality of parts at reasonable prices, so if you're interested in checking us out, our link is in the description below.